Well, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and if you're still trying to figure out something special to do, we have a treat for you. Carrie Links Cummins, founder and CEO of Red Current Attic, joins me now with some ideas. People are yes. going to need these last minute ideas. Yes, it definitely crept up on us this year. It was a quick <laughs> ticket to Valentine's Day. So if you're still looking for something to do or something that you need to give to your loved one, I have some ideas for you. Yay! All right. Well, first up, concerts, right? Those yes. are always good Valentine's yes. Day. Um, events to go yeah. to? Yeah, so if you're looking maybe for like a classic night out, they're doing a really great performance at the San Francisco Symphony, and they're going to be performing a new work. It's a U.S. premiere by Aaron Zygmunt. And if you aren't familiar with the name, you probably have heard his music. He's written over 60 film scores for Hollywood films, and he's done a few of the rom-com music, maybe around like Ugly Truth or Good Luck Chuck or Sex in the City. Um, and the violinist that will be playing the music is actually Ives... Um, um, his name is uh, John Ives, and he is actually the pianist that you hear in Pride and Prejudice. So oh. it's one of my favorite soundtracks. So yes. just to see these two great musicians that really know how to tell a romantic story, mm -hmm. it's going to be really unique. So yeah. that's at the San Francisco Symphony. That sounds great. It sounds romantic, too. I think the ballet also sounds romantic it as well. It is. They are so much fun. And they do two different types of programs throughout the year. They do story ballets, maybe around Romeo and Juliet or Midsummer Night's Dream. But this other type of program is multiple mini ballets throughout the night. So you can hear, see a little bit more of the modern dance or the classical traditional dance. And this is just a really great celebration of the ballet dancers that love this art form of ballet. And so this is something unique to see, and there's a lot of great ballets to see on this particular program. They'll be on Valentine's Day night. See, and these are things my husband normally wouldn't go to, but because it's Valentine's see? Day, he would probably agree. <laughs> exactly. Okay, exactly. So what do you recommend for people in the East Bay who maybe don't want to come into San Francisco? Totally. So across the bridge, this is one of my favorite jazz clubs, Yoshi's. And what I love about Yoshi's is you can actually have dinner and see a show at the same time. So you're going to be able to see P. Escovito, who's an incredible oh, Grammy yeah. award-winning yes. drummer. She's um, his father, by the way. Oh, that's so awesome. Yes. And you may have heard him on like the Santana band. He toured with them for a while. But he has this Latin fusion jazz music. So him and his orchestra is going to be playing some of his favorite romantic pieces. And then some of the works from Back to the Bay, which is one of his new albums that really celebrates the sound of the Bay Area, which is really special. So that will be a really good time on Valentine's Day night. And most of these are throughout the weekend. So if you can't make it that night and need to do it on a Saturday, you can do that as well. I love that you're all about the events because, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, flowers, they don't last very yeah. long. The chocolates, well, how many calories do they have in them? Exactly. <laughs> so these are actually fun events to go to. Yeah, it's a memory that you'll never forget. And that goes further than just a gift of a chocolate. So this would be something special for you to enjoy and remember together. Okay. Carrie Lings Cummins of the Red Curtain Attic, thank you so much for, for coming on. Me. It's always good to see you. And remember, you're streaming CBS. Bay Area. We'll be right back.